Okay, Josh here. I uh, got another uh, video. Hopefully it's informative. Hopefully you enjoy it. I'm going to be discussing what a burnt valve is, some of its symptoms, and what is usually going to be required to repair an engine that has a burnt valve. I'm also going to cover specifics to what type of valves you want to use on this specific engine, which is a Saturn 1.9 liter dual overhead cam. My specific year is a 1995, which you can tell because there are two ports. One is for the engine coolant temperature sensor, which is going to be that one. And the engine coolant temperature sending unit, which is for your gauge on the dash. 96 to 98 cylinder heads only have one of those holes. The other notable area of a 1995 cylinder head is the electronic EGR valve of the 96 to 98s. 91 to 94 uses a mechanical valve. Okay, so start off. What is a burnt valve? Well, the valve itself isn't actually burnt. I'm going to zoom in on my number three exhaust side here. Number three cylinder. The valve is actually chipped, and as you can see, there is a hole. All right, this causes a dead cylinder, loss of compression. You can see the spark plug is completely trashed. It will cause poor idle quality, possible stalling. 96 and up vehicles may show cylinder misfire for the cylinder that has the bad valve. Other things that may happen, the piece of valve that chipped off can be thrown around the cylinder and cause damage to the engine block, or most often it's going to be blown out the cylinder head and out the exhaust. On newer cars, it's going to get trapped in your catalytic converter. My car doesn't have a converter, so out the tailpipe it went. It will also cause poor fuel economy. You'll notice a sharp drop in performance. You'll notice a misfire at all engine speeds, but as engine speed increases, the misfire will slowly smooth itself out and won't be as noticeable. Um, another thing you might get is a check engine code for a rich exhaust condition because that's going to spray fuel directly raw gas into the exhaust. All right, when this happens to your engine because valves are a wear and tear item, it does require a machine shop to perform what's called a valve job. All right, and it does require the cylinder head to be removed from the engine. As I said, valves are a wear and tear item, so I'm going to use my replacement exhaust valve as an example real quick. All right, so when the engine's built at the factory, you have this nice, clean valve face. All right, as the engine runs, we're going to move over to the exhaust side and see if I can get it. All right, you'll notice there is some carbon buildup on those valve stems. Now, this car had leaking valve stem seals. The ATF kept a lot of it off, but it did destroy my engine block, which I covered that in another video. All right, so as you drive the car, you'll notice there's buildup in there. That is normal. That All internal combustion engines have that. Now, the reason these wear out is you get that buildup on there. You may be able to see it if I angle it just right. There's actually a steel seat for the face of the valve. All right, these are on a spring. So when the camshaft opens the valve, it opens, and when it closes, the spring snaps it back. So it's real fast. All right, exhaust valves tend to run hotter than intake valves. So if you beat on your engine and run at the high RPMs, it's going to wear them out quicker. All right, now as far as covering the replacement valves for the Saturn 1.9 liter, this is for 1991 to 1998 only. 99 to 2002 Saturn dual overhead cams use a different part number through the valve manufacturers because the cylinder head is a different casting. You do not want to use 91 to 98 valves in a 99 to 2002 cylinder head. Even the camshafts are different. All right, they're not interchangeable. So if you have a 99 to 02, this video is not for you. All right, first off, I'm gonna show you the type of valve you're looking for because there's different manufacturers and 
The brand that I got is Sealed Power by Federal Mogul. Now, Advance Auto is supposed to sell it according to Federal Mogul's website, but when I checked with the Advance Auto in my area, it come up in their computer system as discontinued. So I'm going to use the intake valves. All right, notice that the valves in my stock head are dished. Okay, and they're dished pretty well. As we can see, the head of this valve is flat. All right, the purpose of these valves, it's also not quite as dished in the center. This is going to provide a slight compression boost. The exhaust valve is the same way. All right, as far as your part numbers, sealed power manufactures these for 91 to 98 Saturn dual overhead cams. The intake valve, V4507. The exhaust valve. V4508. Now these valves were not easy for me to source. Um, I had to source them from Rock Auto and Amazon.com. All right. Melling was the supplier that both AutoZone and O'Reilly showed. In my area, they were priced at about $15.99 per valve. These cost me about $12 per valve plus shipping. There are other engine manufacturers out there, such as Engine Tech. All right, so when you look for the valves, look for a reputable dealer and look for the flat faces. You can still find dished valves, but the flat faces will give you a little bit extra compression. I do recommend running premium fuel if you do the flat valves in your Saturn. They are known to knock on 87 octane with stock valves. That will get worse if you bump compression up. Now, as far as Valve stem seals. Anytime you do a valve job, I do recommend valve stem seals. Felpro, also by Federal Mogul, and one of the only gasket manufacturers you will ever see me recommend in my videos, unless Felpro is not available and then you have to go with somebody else. Your valve stem seals. There are 16 of these. Felpro makes a nice kit for about 140 bucks that comes with every gasket for rebuilding a cylinder head. But these are premium valve stem seals, not stock. All right. They're made out of Viton rubber. Definitely worth the money. And the last thing I'm going to cover is a supplement to the dual intake cam video that I did. Now, the reason I'm going to include this is because part of this is when you take this head to the machine shop, the machinist may want you to remove the camshafts first. All right. So I'm going to show how to do that. And actually, this engine, GM actually made it very easy to not mix up the cams on this engine. Uh, so even a novice, a beginner mechanic, can actually pull these heads and pull the cams without getting them wrong and actually bolt them back on. All right. Holding the cams are eight millimeter bolts all the way around. Okay, now, one of the users in the Saturn fan forums posted this when I posted a link to my video on the intake cam modification for dual intake cams. Now the intake cam has higher lift and higher duration than the exhaust cam. So swapping the exhaust cam for an intake cam will actually increase the performance of the engine. However, there is something to note. This notch on the camshaft, you'll notice the exhaust cam has one too. It's even labeled exhaust. Underneath, you'll see cylinder head castings. All right. The reason GM did this is so you cannot mix up the intake cam with the exhaust cam when you are reassembling this cylinder head. The only other point you need to pay attention to, and this is critical, so you do not wipe out your camshafts. The lifters, all right? Each lifter, left, right, number one cylinder, all the way over to number four, both intake and exhaust, need to be kept in their original position on the camshaft or you will cause excessive wear on the lobes when you restart this engine. So if it comes off the number one left side, make sure you mark it, number one left exhaust, number 
one right exhaust, number two left exhaust, number two right exhaust, three left exhaust, and so on. You'll do the same with the intake side as well. As I said, this is critical so you do not wipe out your camshafts. Brand new camshafts from GM are discontinued. Most of the parts for these engines are discontinued by GM. There are aftermarket suppliers such as Goud that make cams. I have read reviews that are mixed. Some people say they have good quality. Others say they have stated they have questionable. It's all read on the internet. Believe what you can on the internet. So I take it with a grain of salt. But the factory camshafts were a life of the vehicle. They weren't known for wiping cams. They were known for burning valves, which we just covered that. So just save yourself the headache, all right? And if you have any questions or you have any comments or if you have anything that I might have missed to add to this video, feel free to drop me a comment. I'll be more than happy to help you out with anything you got. And as always, thank you for watching.